Welcome back Infinity Kingdom audience and I did it audience. I'm really glad that you clicked on this video. Uh, what I'm going to be going over here is Infinity Kingdom and um, as a, a brand new account. So I have um, I have an account and it's uh, city level 36 and uh, Lord level 34. I've really enjoyed playing the game. I like it a lot. It's an empire game. I played empire games in the in the past and this one's a little different and I really enjoy it. And I think the developers are really focused on or they seem to be really focused on the customer and they keep on doing updates and adding things to the game. Uh, they get your feedback constantly. Uh, they're constantly giving rewards. And so the, I believe this is a game that you truly can play uh, free to play and, and be competitive in uh, playing free to pay. Uh, and you can also be that, that middle, middle spender and, and be competitive. So you don't, you don't have to be that big spender. I mean, you, you certainly can. And that does give you advantages, as with any Empire game. Uh, but with this game, uh, you don't have to. Another thing I'm really impressed with this game is the graphics and, and the playability of the, of the game. But let's go ahead and get into it. I wanted to give you tips uh, on how to start this game. Because, uh, you know, there are certain directions that you can go in this game or do certain things that will help you. Uh, that I didn't know the first time around and now that I know and so hopefully I'll give you some good tips with with playing this this game Infinity game, Kingdom uh, The Infinity Kingdom is a mobile game that plays on Apple uh, iOS and in Android and it also plays very well on a PC uh, using um, You know some Android emulator program like like blue stacks or something like that uh, but right now I'm in the uh, part where you um, select your fraction or faction. Now you could choose red, blue, or green. What I find it interesting right now is that it is this is a brand new server, so it's given me a recommended one to to join. So look at this one. This red red gives you a bonus of cavalry five percent. Um, but you go into blue, uh, and blue gives you bonus for your spearmen, 5%. And green, now green is recommended. Now look, look at this when you click on green. I get some nice rewards joining green. So that's 200 gems and 100 VP. Gems are, are and VP uh, coins are very valuable in this game. And your bonus is, is shield man. So I was going to pick blue, but now after this recommendation and seeing that, I'm going to go ahead and join green. So I am going to join green. Now it takes a little while. Now I'm surprised that it is allowing, this is a start graphics. And actually it's pretty good graphics uh, of the game. Um, so... Looking at the servers, it showed 49. I just joined 49, and it showed it unavailable. That it's just been open one day and eight hours, and it showed it unavailable. So I didn't think it was going to allow me to join, and it showed it as under construction. Um, but uh, it allowed me to join, and and here I am. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Uh, it's a really good intro, good graphics, and, and so on, but to you know, not spoil this and show you, get you into the game and what you need to do. I'm going to go ahead and skip. So click on skip. So you start off randomly ported in, in the game uh, with your, your kingdom. So this is my kingdom. As with any Empire ga game, uh, your kingdom's a mess. It's been destroyed. Yes, it is. It's in dire need. It's an absolute mess. So gnomes are the big bad guy in this game. Uh, so those are the main monsters that you uh, fight throughout the game, and there's variables to those gnomes. 
one of the things about this game is it really does have a, a good tutorial that takes you through all of it. And the tutorial actually, it really guides you through all the way through, I think, level maybe 15 or 20. And it's really helpful moving you along. And the beginning rewards to start uh, leveling you up quickly are, are really good. As with any Empire game, you start with your main castle. So let's go ahead and upgrade. One of the things that I like when you build something new, there's no time. It's immediately up and running. So I like that about the game is there's no time to build that new building. In an instant. The graphics are actually pretty cool when it builds buildings too. As a sergeant, I would also suggest you consider rebuilding the walls. So we're going to go and we're going to rebuild the walls. Boom. Walls. So I'm going to start moving quicker through here because you have to go through these beginning things uh, to get to the point where I actually give you some tips because as right now, I'm just following exactly what they say. So this is when you're going to go into uh, do your very first battles in the game. You got to clear out some territory for your kingdom. All right. So this is the Hall of Immortals. This is where you get your heroes. And your heroes are basically your most important thing in the, in the game. Uh, that's the one that, that leads all your troops. It gives you your power boost and so on. So we're going to click on here and click on there. And it's going to give you a Philosopher's Stone. And it's going to allow me to summon my first hero. And who do I get? Uh, who is he? I don't know his name. Is it Lancelot? No, it's not Lancelot. Uh, Pierre. It is Pierre. So I confirm, confirm. So now I have Pierre. It is my very first hero. So let's go to training your troops. Okay, first we've got to build our training grounds. So this is a place where it houses all your troops. And you can click on this building to see how many troops you have of each type. Now there's four types of troops. Which ones are they going to do? Okay, start with the cavalry barracks. And retrain. I need a drink. Okay. Now they're done. Now I'm going to build my first troops. So I'm building cavalry. Train. My lord, it takes time to train troops, but our enemies won't give us that luxury. So speed up. Now this is the first time that I'm going to be using a speed up. Speed ups are one of the rarer items in the game. And they're most important to, I would say, hoard and use them when you really want to use them. So... And to use them during events uh, as much as possible. You're going to use some early on in the game just so you can uh, advance a little bit quicker. But then I definitely suggest uh, go into hoarding mode and save your speed up for certain events for prizes so you can compete better. Uh, and also just just when you when you want to really use it that make a upgrade a building a building that makes a big difference. Okay, our units go to the training grounds. Uh, one of the things, okay, we're going to add our units. So we start off, I guess there's Lance already there. Uh, we pick Pierre and add him to it. And then this is, he. Pierre's your hero and these are your troops. So they're both using cavalry. Uh, so this is going to be like your main troop screen. Uh, there's going to be support troops that you add in your dragon uh, later on. So, and you can click auto. Auto, what auto does is auto fills, like your troops die, and it's going to pull troops for your training grounds and automatically bring them up to the max. As you level up, you can have more troops. So that's what auto does. At some point, you'll want to turn that off. Okay, so here's our first battle. Uh, battles typically don't look exactly like this in, in the game, but... Uh, it's more in the open world, not in your kingdom. 
but we're going to battle. Now, going into battles, this doesn't have the option here, but normally there's an option in the corner where you can do auto and you can speed it up. Uh, so we're kind of in control over this. There's nothing to do right now. The main thing that you control is their special powers. So you see this orange bar that's going up? That's going to be their special powers. So I'm going to cast my spell. Boom. And it does big hits, and then they're all dead. They're gone. They're history. They're finito. Okay. So I did that. Now this is your first resource area, and this is going to be a farm. Now, one of the thing about this game, I would say this game compared to other uh, resource games is very generous if you're smart and do your gathering. And I haven't ran into a point where I ran out of resources. So I, every point I was either able to cover it from my back uh, inventory resources or the inventory uh, resources that I already had up, open up and out in, in your warehouse. So this is where you heal your troops. So you just click on here and we got to heal some serious troops. And it's not going to have me speed up. We must increase our power and defend them up. City construction is missing. Okay, we finished chapter one. All right, so we're going to claim some things. We're going to claim th things. And then we're going to go build our Bowman barracks. All right, Bowman. Let's talk about the Bowman. Bowman die. They're the, like the first ones to die uh, on your troop marches and stuff like that. So, and they're usually, they're always towards the back. Uh, you may have shield men towards the back, but you most of the time you have Bowman. Uh, towards the back. So this is where you complete a task. You collect the rewards in here. Um, so now we're going to do Shieldman Barracks and build that. So, but always keep a lot of bowmen. Uh, you can never seem to have enough bowmen. All right. So this is going to be our first epic hero. This is Merlin. And I'm going to skip this intro so we could go ahead and get them. And this video is not too long. Okay, this is your first purchase. Okay, there's some early on purchases that I suggest that you do that go a long way. And this is a good purchase. It's a good, it gives you an epic hero to start off right away. It gives you some philosophy stones, some uh, VIP, and some green gems. So this is one, uh, it's good to spend just a little bit at the beginning of the game that can really help you out. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. So it is in uh, special bundles, I think. Where is it? Why do not, I... okay, I'm already in there. Where is the Merlin? That's Ramesses. Oh, it's do any purchase and you get that. What was that? Was it doing any purchase? Wait a second. Let's click on it. First recharge, recharge, epic moral, and other great rewards. Go purchase. I think it's any purchase. So let's just try this one. Gives you a philosophy stone. Oh, well, this one's free. Well, let's click on that. We definitely want the free item. Okay, so with these bundles, there's always a good 99 cent. 99 cents bundles are a pretty good one. These are marching points. Getting three of those, so that's, and then getting Philosopher's Stone. It's always a good purchase. I'm just going to go ahead and purchase this. You will see the last four digits of my credit card. Okay. Now, is that going to give me Merlin? I am really kind of lost. Okay. Yes. 
I got Merlin. So it's good to do that 99 cents purchase and go ahead and now you got this epic immortal. You got that. If you um, want to spend a little extra, I suggest the Philosopher's Stone one uh, that costs $4.99. Uh, that will give you some extra VP. It will also give you three Philosopher's Stones. And Philosopher's Stones, as you play the game, are, are very big and, and key. So... All right, we got Merlin. Merlin's a really good character. Uh, he, he does a lot of damage. Uh, so he's good to have early on. He's good to develop. Early on when you get in the game, the game kind of forces you to start with blue. So go ahead and start with blue. Uh, but as you get later on and stuff like that, you probably you may want to pause blue and try to develop uh, some other character uh, with other elements. So there's there's blue, there's water, there's wind, uh, there's earth, there's fire, and then there's uh, basically shadow, night, and, and light. Uh, holy. So those are those are the different types of uh, troops. Uh, So I started acting in the order or effect, and those are bonuses. So basically, you get three, three units. You get a physical defense bonus of 20% and magical defense bonus of, of 20%. So that's a, that's a real good bonus to start off with. Okay. As you go into four, you get more bonus than the five, and then you get all six. If all six are water, your dragon, uh, then your bonus is huge. So let's go to shield now. I leveled up. So I want to cover one thing. Okay, this is where it kind of lets you do things on your own for a little bit. But on your own is basically you want to follow the chapter and complete the chapter. The ch at, in a chapter, you're going to get chapter rewards, and you're going to get good rewards uh, too. So you want to do that. Um, as you do on uh, chapter rewards, other things are going to unlock that it will give you tasks that you want to do too. Uh, but one of the things that you want to see, I got a free philosopher stone here that's saying, hey, click on me, click on me, click on me. So I'm going to click on it free. I'm going to see what I get. So my hope is, is that I get a fourth hero that I can add that to support so I can go ahead and add that to the march. And it's Troy. So Helen Troy. So we got uh, a fourth hero to add to that. So we're going to go and we're going to go for confirm. I'm going to see we already got five philosopher stones. So, oh, and we got uh, one of these free already. OK, another one free. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. A uh, small one. The major philosopher stones, the big ones, you want to do them in groups of nine most of the time. You'll get a free one once a day, uh, but anytime you do one that you earn over time or, or purchase, you want to do the nine because uh, that will give you ten philosopher stones. Okay, so I'm going to go to my troops and I'm going to edit units and I'm going to. I can't add her yet. Ah, okay, I can't add her yet. So since I can't add her, let's go go ahead and then okay anything red dot you want to click on. So we've gotten some rewards. We got our first email, and we got 300 gems, a name change, some speed ups, a chest of resources, and VIP. So we're gonna have clean those. All right, you want to go wherever there's a red dot, go there, click on it because it's it's a task to do that you need to do. So I need to build an extra farm. So I'm going to go ahead and build a farm. Now when it's here, this is when you collect resources. So I just collected some resources. And there's my resources up along the top. So you see all these red dots here. These are, are potentially rewards. So daily deals. There's something always in daily deals. And this is the daily gift. Um, this is something to, that... The Epic Immortals. So what you got here is the Mystery Pearl Shop. Okay. You purchase these. If you purchase all three, you'll get 20 Mystery Pearls. I suggest doing this when you first start out. Uh, is doing this at least once. 
that will give you 20 pearls and that will allow you to select this epic immortal uh, chess so we're, we're gonna, just going to go ahead and do that now so I know it's going to look like I'm, I'm spending a, a lot but uh, I tell you after this uh, first day of play uh, you don't need to do this uh, you can but you don't need to do it so I just want to get that all purchased because I want to select my mortal. And I want to show you something when you're selecting your, your hero out of the chest. Okay. So these also give you good rewards. So Philosopher Stone, they give you, uh, what do they give you all around rewards that, that you can use all the way throughout the game? I mean, 10, 30 minute speed ups early on the game, that, that is huge. Uh, and that's one of the things is these values are very big, especially early on in the game. Uh, it's not as valuable as you gain a lot. There's still value to it, but it is not as valuable. So I'm going to go in here, and I got 20 coins, and now I'm going to get my epic mortal chest and get that. So now I have, uh, I could get another epic immortal. Now, I want you to think. All the items you have obtained are stored here. Okay, so this is VIP. I'm going to show you VIP in just a second. VIP is very important. Okay, so this is the new epic. So I'm going to use it. Now, here's the heroes that you could you could pick from. Now, it's very easy to say, hey, I want, I want you know, my epic to be um, water, you know, because that's where I'm growing right now. But you may want to think and select a, a hero that's a different uh, resource uh, because maybe at a later time you're not going to want to develop water. Maybe you want to develop red or uh, some other. Um, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and select Water, Attila the Hun. Um, I'll probably get the other ones uh, later, later on. So right now, I'm just going to focus on Water and go ahead and get Attila Hun. Now, these heroes in here, when you get them from the Mystery Shop, most of the time... It's easy to get the shards for the hero to level it up through the mystery shop. Uh, you can get it through through the, the market, uh, and the market is hasn't been unlocked yet, but you can get it through here. Uh, but you're going to have to pay gems for it. Uh, you won't have to. You can't use the special purple gems, and you'll get those later on. So now I have a Tillahan. So let's let's go into Immortals. Now, when you get something right here, uh, when it's not from the Hall of Immortals, if you get it from collecting shards, it's going to show up here in your Immortals, and you got to click on it, and then you got to summon it. So I have him. Now, I can easily put him in the front and replace one of my heroes that I have. In fact, I am going to do that because uh, I got this green guy. Green's the lowest power, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him. But you also, when you summon new heroes, you want to click on here because uh, there's this great artwork. And as you summon them, you will get gems. So i already getting some gems. I'm getting a nice collection of gems. Look at all those gems. Yes, more gems. So look at all those are collected. And one more. There you go. All the gems that I've got. So um, look at all right. 2,300 gems. That's big. So let's go into troops. I'm going to edit my troops. I'm going to say bye to this green guy. And I want another epic in there. So I got two epics in there. Uh, so epics are more powerful and you want to focus on developing them at some point I'll get rid of Lance and have another hero in there 
So another red dot here. We got to build a warehouse. So let's go ahead and build a warehouse. Now I got the story. I haven't forgot the story. So I got to recapture the lumber mill area and upgrade the castle. But I'm going ahead and, and taking advantage of some of these things that I also need to do. Spearman Barracks. Okay. Now all my troops are available. So I got Spearman, Bowman, Cavalry, and Shieldman. What I want you to tell you, and this is different than other Empire games, go ahead and start building troops right away. Because uh, you'll need them. Because troops will die, and then you won't be able to have full marches to kill the domes. And the neat thing about this game is when you level up your troops, like right here, okay? I'm level 1. When I level up all my troops, if I fill it up with all level 1 troops, they automatically upgrade to level 2. You don't have to get rid of your level 1s and build all new level 2. So take advantage of the, the resource savings and build as many as you can at level 1. You want to do that throughout the game when you're at level 2. Go ahead, fill your, fill your troops up. Now, there will be a point where you're like, okay, I'm getting close to full that you want to hold off or kill some off. Because uh, there's uh, some events where you actually build troops and, and you can win pri prizes based on that. But early on, you don't want your troops holding you up on doing tasks because they will. You're like, it won't set up the march or the march won't be as powerful enough. And it's because you don't have enough troops. Now, this is a grow fund. We'll talk about that later on. Uh, that's a good thing. And then there's also a daily sign-in bonus that you don't see yet. Uh, but, oh, yeah, in here. So we're getting the seventh day sign in because we're brand new. So day one, we're getting 100 gems, okay? And you'll see the prizes out there. In the seven days, you get a nice epic, which is good. So great uh, sign in. We got the Rebel Tracks going on right now. Uh, that's an event. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but that's killing domes. And then they give you some Rebel City chest to open up a power challenge. These are great. Power challenges are great. It gives you some nice uh, prizes. You see over here, look at these prizes. Uh, three gemstones, 350. So you definitely want to do the power. City sieges. Um, do everything. I got to join an alliance. We're going to cover that supreme alliance. So these are a lot of things that you could get. And castle upgrade. So every time you upgrade your castle, whoo. Someone's already at 19? Really? Wow. Uh, so he's getting a reward. So I don't expect to be in anywhere. Those are your big spenders right there. So already we got someone at 19 and a daily sign-in. You definitely want to do your daily sign-in. Uh, get some great stuff there. And there we go. All right. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I know this was a long video. Um, but there's some key things that I uh, covered in this video and link account so I'm gonna do that later uh, but you'll see the rewards that I could do with link in the account um, but what did I cover in this video so I covered as, as new to start go ahead and train your troops right away um, keep on training them Keep on healing them. Keep troops in there so you could do things in the game because you're going to be attacking gnomes and you want a full march. Go ahead and follow the tutorial because the tutorial and the tasks up here, they give you nice bonuses and prizes. Uh, so you will want to do that. Uh, VIP. I forgot to cover VIP. So VIP, there's always rewards in the VIP. So, boom. Now, there's a purchase in here. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this because it gives you Merlin bonus. And it's cheap right now. So, I'm going ahead and purchasing this. And... Okay, so how much have I spent today? If you look at it, my first purchase was $0.99. Cents. Then my next purchase was... 99 cents and then a dollar 99 and then uh, or 99 cents 
199 and then 290 yeah 299 so everything in here that I've done today has been less than 10 and ten dollars and will definitely been uh, uh, benefit you uh, Ah, make your game easy, easier. There's one other purchase that I need to tell you that you need to do. And when it comes up. And it is receive the one. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but it's the one that allows you. This is, this is a permanent building queue. Purchase this. Okay, I should have probably purchased this and read it instead of that 99 cents one. This is the one that you want your first purchase to be because it allows you to have an extra building be built at all the time. Um, you also will want to, there's another way to, to have a building built at the same time through your alliance or using gems, uh, but this gives you that permanent. So basically throughout the game, you're pretty much able to spend or build three buildings all the time if you play it right, and which is really nice. Where a lot of Empire games, you can maybe build one, maybe two, uh, but here you could build three buildings all the time. Okay, so I covered some purchases that you should do on the first start of the game. That will help you out a lot. We covered submarine immortals, uh, covering troops. Uh, but the main thing that I want you to focus is on, on now is, remember, is train your troops. Keep on training your troops. And get those immortals that extra building queue. Uh, those are the things that you want. And go ahead and get Merlin. And there, then you're set. You can easily get that and, and make the mystery pearl purchases uh, to get your epic at some point. You don't have to do it today. You could do it the next day or a week down. But at some point, I suggest doing the mystery pearl purchase. And those are the minimum things that you need to buy. Uh, level up and use your VIP. So I can use VIP here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, batch use. See, already I'm VIP too. And looking at these bonuses that you get. Uh, you get action points. You get shop refreshes. These are nice bonuses to have in, in the game. And I'm going to get batch use. And boom, I'm in v, VIP 3. So you see him uh, dwelling production. Uh, oh, gold. Gold is hugely important in this game. I'm going to spend a, a, a do a video later on that's just going to be focusing on resources and how to stay ahead of the curve on your resources and, and not run out and possibly never use your inventory except for gold. So that's it. And oh, leveling up your VIP. Each time you level up, there's something to claim, and there's something that you could purchase. So I'm going to claim these. Uh, and the purchase early on, uh, they're all about Merlin. That's what they're about. They're all about Mer Merlin. And early on, uh, the purchases are, are, are kind of good. Later on, mm, it just depends on how you're playing the game and what you want to level up. Um, but that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you didn't like it, hit a thumbs up anyways. And subscribe to the channel. There will be definitely more videos coming out on, on Infinity Kingdom. Signing off.